Hello Internet, I am Mihai. It is the fifth episode of the Jenkins Pipeline tutorial. Let's start. In this video, we will install required software for our server. But before the installation, I want to fix one typo I made in the previous video. After I fix it, I will install Java, Git, Node.js, zip and zip tools. Let's fix the typo. Open VS Code, open the server installation file, click on View, Command Palette, type Open Preview, enter. You see, the PS1 line is not bold. Let's fix it. Go to the file editor, remove the space and add the single code. Save the file, open the preview again. Now the PS1 line is bold. The typo has been fixed. Let's commit. Close the file. Go to commits. Check the changes. Everything is OK. Add the file to the stage. Write the commit message. Fixed. PS1. Bold. Typo. New line. Install. Server. Tools. Commit. The first tool to install is Java. Open VirtualBox. Start the server headless. Let's wait. I remind you, VirtualBox is not mandatory. You can use cloud providers like Azure or AWS. The only thing which matters is to run an Ubuntu server. The server should be running now. Open the terminal and try to connect to your server via SSH. Type the command SSH, your username, at the server IP 192.168.050. Write the password. Now I am connected to my server. I want to check if all packages are up to date. Run sudo apt update. Write the password. I have 30 packages to upgrade. Type the command sudo apt upgrade. Yes. Click OK. Click OK again. Run again sudo apt update. I still have two packages to upgrade. Let's check why they weren't upgraded. sudo apt upgrade. These two packages weren't upgraded. For some reason, apt decided to keep them back. But this will not affect us. Let's reboot the server. Run sudo reboot. Wait a minute. Connect to the server again. Type the password. Connected. It is time to install Java. Run sudo apt install open gdk 11 gdk. Enter. Type the password. Yes. Java is installed. Let's check the version. Run Java version. It is OpenGDK 11.0.15. Everything is OK. Let's add the commands to the instructions list. Open VS Code, close all tabs, create a new file in the Jenkins server folder. File name is install server tools.md. Open the file and write hashtag install Java, new line, create the shell block. Open the terminal, copy the command, 
past it, go back to the terminal, copy the command, past it, save the file. Take a look on the preview, select Open Preview. The instruction is ready. Close the preview. I want to commit the file. Go to Git, check the changes, add the file to the stage. Write the commit message. Install Java, new line, install server tools. Commit. The second tool to install is Git. Open your favorite browser and search for Git. Open the first page. Go to Downloads. Select Linux because our server is running on Linux. Our server runs Ubuntu, so I will follow the Ubuntu instructions. Copy the add repository command. Go back to the terminal. And pass the command. Write sudo before the command. Enter. Enter again. Copy the update command. Past it. Oops, I forgot to write sudo. Now I will install git. Copy the command. Write sudo. Pass the command. Enter. Yes. Git has been installed. Let's check the version. Write git dash dash version. Enter. The version is 2.37.1. Let's check on the web page. It is also 2.37.1. Everything is OK. Let's add the commands to the instructions list. Open VS Code and write hashtag install git download page. Put the page in square brackets. Open the browser, copy the URL, paste it in the round brackets. New line, create the shell block. I will paste here the executed commands. Open the terminal, press up arrow to find the first command, select and copy, paste it in the VS code, copy the second command. Past it. Copy the third command. Past it. And copy the check version command. Past it. Save the file and check the preview. Open preview. Everything is good. Check the files changes. We added git. Everything is OK. Close the tab. Add the file to the stage. Write the commit message. Install git new line. Install server tools. Commit. The third tool to install is Node.js. Open your favorite browser and search for Node.js. Write node.js. Open the first page. Go to download tab. Select LTS. Scroll down and select installing node.js via package manager. Open it. Select Debian and Ubuntu based Linux distributions because our server is running Ubuntu. Open it. Click on the link node.js binary distributions. It will redirect you to GitHub. Scroll down to Debian and Ubuntu based distributions. Click on it. I see that Node.js will work on our Ubuntu version. Scroll down and search for the latest LTS version. 
when I was recording it was 16.16.0. How to check if it is the latest LTS version? Go back to Node.js page. And here you have the information that the latest LTS version is 16. Go back to the GitHub tab. Find the 16 block and follow the instructions. Copy the first line to pass it in the terminal. Go to the terminal. Clear the logs. Just write clear. Now I have a clean terminal. Pass the copied command. Enter. Go back to GitHub. Copy the second line. Past it. Node.js has been installed. Check the version. Node version. It is 16.16.0. Check it on the Node.js page. It is the same. 16.16.0. Check the npm version. npm version. It is 8.11.0. On the Node.js page it is also 8.11.0, but I want to increase it. Write the command sudo npm install dash dash location equals global npm. So npm will install the npm package in the global location. Enter. Check the npm version again. npm version. The version is higher. 8.15.1. Let's add the commands to the instructions list. Open VS Code. Go to the editor. Write hashtag install node.js Download page. Go to the browser. I am on the downloads page. I copy the URL. Past it. I create the shell block. I go to the terminal and copy the first command. Past it. Copy the second command, past it. Copy the command where we checked the version of Node.js, past it. Copy the npm version check, past it. Copy the npm update. Past it. Copy the version check again. Past it. Save the file. Check the preview. Check if the link works. Press Ctrl and the left click of your mouse. The URL works. I can close the tab. Go to VS Code. Check the changes in the file. Everything is OK. Close the changes. Add the file to the stage. Write the commit message. Install node.js. New line. Install server tools. I will copy the commit message to use it later. Now commit. The fourth tool to install is zip. Before I proceed with the installation, I will pass back the copied commit message. This way I don't have to type the annoying message every time. Open the terminal. Clear the logs. And write sudo apt install zip space unzip. It will install two packages at once. Enter. They were installed. Check the version. Zip. Enter. The version is 3.0. Unzip. Enter. The version is 6.0. Zip tools have been installed. Add the instructions to the VS Code. Open VS Code. 
Open the editor. Write hashtag install zip. Create the shell block. Go to the terminal. Copy the first command. Past it. New line. Copy the zip command. Copy the unzip command. Past it. Save the file and let's commit it. Check the changes. It is OK. Add the file to the stage. Write the commit message. Install zip unzip. Remove the space. Commit. All tools have been installed. Close the changes tab. Open the terminal and shut down the server. sudo shut down. Now the server is off. Open VirtualBox to confirm it. The status is power off. I'm going to push everything to GitHub. Open VS Code. Copy the path to your project. Open the terminal. Write cd, change directory, and pass the absolute path to your project. Enter. Now I'm in the project folder. Check the git status. Nothing to be committed. Check git log. I can see my commits, and you should see yours. Press Q to exit this view. Now write git push. Enter. I have to accept the SSH key to the GitHub repository. Pushed. Check git status. My local branch is up to date with origin main. And now I will check on GitHub. Open the browser. Go to GitHub. Not this one, but this one. Open the configuration repository. Click on commits. Here you see the commits I made today. Go back to the code. Open the Jenkins server folder. Open install server tools. Here are the instructions. Go back. Open server installation file. The bold text is fixed. And it is all. Now you have the required tools installed. Thank you for watching.